Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Melisa Albaniz and I am a third year student at the University of Toronto studying human biology. Today we will be discussing density. And a question you may have is why a rock will sink while a boat will float? Let's explore this together. The materials you will need today for this experiment is a clear jar, a spoon, food coloring can be optional, dish soap, honey, maple syrup, water, vegetable oil, milk, and rubbing alcohol. Here is another look at our materials for today. We will be starting off with our clear jar and for each liquid we will be adding two tablespoons. I first added two tablespoons of honey, our densest liquid. I then began to add two tablespoons of maple syrup to the clear jar. As you can see, the two layers are very distinct from one another. I then began to add my two tablespoons of milk. And here we can see that there are three distinct layers, honey, maple syrup, and milk. Next, I added two tablespoons of dish soap. So far, dish soap is the least dense out of all four liquids. From most dense to least dense, we have honey, maple syrup, milk, and dish soap. I then added water, and as you can see, the water is slightly blue because I used food coloring to differentiate between the different layers. From most dense to least dense, we have honey, maple syrup, milk, dish soap, and water so far. Shortly after, I added vegetable oil, approximately two tablespoons. Now let's look at the different layers. The last liquid I'm adding to the clear jar is rubbing alcohol. Rubbing alcohol is the thin layer at the top of the surface. As you can see, there is little to no mixture of the liquids that we added to the clear jar. Now this is our final product. We have honey as our most dense liquid on the bottom, maple syrup, milk, dish soap, water, vegetable oil, and rubbing alcohol. Rubbing alcohol is the least dense. The first section of the whiteboard that we will be talking about is density. So let's go back to the question we had at the beginning of this video. Why does a rock sink while a boat will float? Well, let's first discuss density. Density is defined as an object's mass per unit volume and can also be explained as how compact a material is. This section, we will talk about why a rock is denser than water. For example, an anchor is denser than water and so it will sink. Similarly, a rock is denser than water, and so it will also sink. We will now move on to the last section of the whiteboard on why air is less dense than water. So an air bubble is less dense than water, and that is why it rises to the surface. Like a boat, a boat contains lots of air, and so it will stay afloat and will not sink to the bottom. So let's return to the experiment. Rubbing alcohol, is the least dense out of all the other liquids, and so it will not mix. Rubbing alcohol will also not sink to the bottom because it is less dense than all the other liquids. Honey, on the other hand, is the most dense, so it will remain at the bottom of the jar and will not mix with any other liquid. In summary, in order from least dense, the top of the jar, to most dense, the bottom of the jar, we have rubbing alcohol, vegetable oil, water, dish soap, milk, maple syrup, and honey. As explained, density is an object's mass per unit volume. Thank you for watching this video, and I encourage you to try this at home with parent supervision. Please like and subscribe on YouTube and follow us on Facebook and TikTok. Until next time.